Please welcome Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Cold, you know, I would have worn a shirt. Actually, I wouldn't have, but you could have worn me, you know. You are almost naked. You are really, almost. you're wearing They always a cape. keep me almost, the TV. You know? Where do you get an outfit like this? Is this available for really purchase? Really close to where we're filming. Hollywood Boulevard usually has. Is that right? They have a lot of these. Oh my God. I am embarrassed now. I don't know if it, it and now I can't help, but I'm, I'm gonna have to. Uh, this is the trick. You just wanna like stare at my eyebrows. I'm gonna or focus on your, oh, the little eyes on your hat are what I will yeah. focus on right there. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great. You know, I you look really great with scruff, I was thinking. Oh, I thank like you. you with the little <laughs> All the ladies in my dressing room, we were saying, like, damn, you were looking me like the scruff. Well, that's very nice. Yeah, I appreciate that. Great. I'm still a little bit flustered by your um, your outfit, by but yeah, hair. by yeah, by those. <laughs> by those. Hey, you know what is I and I know you probably get asked this all the time, and I apologize, Let's but go for it. I'm, I, you know, I have a 23-year-old daughter. What does your dad say when he turns on the TV and he's like, my dad doesn't know how to turn on the TV. That's he doesn't. A good thing. He's a caveman. Um, no, my dad, you know what? It's actually, my dad's cool because, you know, I'm sure he'd maybe rather me not have my tits out all the time, yeah. but he'd rather me have my tits out and be a good person than have a shirt on and be a bitch. Which, and, and I like to say, you know, I see, well, I see a lot of people with their clothes on and they're kind of <laughs> and I don't know if it's the clothes that turns you into an he is, yeah. yeah like, it's probably when you've got clothes. your tits out, you can't really be an <laughs> You know, it's like, people are already judging you, so it's like, you know, you gotta, like, it's just, you know, it's just, I feel better this way. Do you feel more comfortable like that? Do you feel, do you like, do you feel more comfortable when other people are uncomfortable? Actually, I, you know, the, it, not that it started this way, but I um, did the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Joan Jett. I inducted her, and I was there, and we were talking to Paul McCartney, and I saw him not knowing how to talk to me, yeah. which I don't know really how to talk to Paul McCartney, so it was made me very comfortable because it made him more uncomfortable. <laughs> and um, so sometimes it kind of is like a nice like convo icebreaker, you know? It's, it's definitely like, an icebreaker. You can just be like, stop staring at my tits, and then like the convo just kind of keeps going. You I know? see. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. <laughs> Not usually. <laughs> yeah. Just if you keep fun. your arms at your side, it would be better probably. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny because if I was watching, you know, if I, you and I were talking, I'd be, probably be trying to uh, get a look. But it's, since we're right, having a good conversation, yes. is what you're thinking about. That's yeah. what they're always thinking about. When yeah, you're it's yeah. Yeah, what it's human nature is what it is. There's yeah. no two ways around. You know it. what I've learned actually is that it's not a um, the tit. Are you allowed to say tit on no. your show? Boob. <laughs> I hate the word. Boob. I think you it's are like actually. It's like panty. It's like the creepiest. Well, anyway. you could say breast. Breast. Yes, yes. The human um, breast. The humans aren't afraid of the human breast. It's the nipple that's the issue. That I'm always so concerned. Like, I'm showing my boobs and no one has a problem, but the nipples are covered, so somehow that's okay. So America's actually fine with tits. It's nipples they don't like. You're right. It is a nipple. Which is what you have. I do Which have. Which is them. insane because the nipple, what you can't show, everyone has, but the jug part that everyone doesn't, you're allowed to show under boob. <laughs> I've never understood the way that works. Oh, I it don't feels know. like it's sliding. I oh, think I need to go to the hospital we're though. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I travel with a lot of tape. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would think so. How do, are those adhered? Is that uh... um, sticky glue and also tape? Lots and of does tape. it hurt when it comes off? You just, it's like a band aid. You just gotta go. So but, yes. um, actually, sometimes. <laughs> It'll leave the imprint of whatever like symbol. Like I do pot leaf nipples or heart nipples or star nipple. You actually can get any kind of nipple you want. Isn't it? They literally have everything. They have light up nipples. I almost wear those, but these ones were kind of cooler. They went better with the ensemble. But they do have LED nipples. Where do you get those? Like Hot Topic or something? Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard is pretty much my entire closet. Well, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's. Yeah. I don't know how. It's we... interesting when I go on Instagram, you know, and girls are like. Hashtag Givenchy, hashtag, I'm like, hashtag tit pasty. That was like a <laughs> dollar for a pack of four. But you know. You are saving a lot of money by not having clothes. And fabric and all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was actually, I'm very eco friendly. I, yeah, you do, I'm you a post, vegan nudist. I mean, post, I don't. Oh, you are a vegan nudist, I aren't am. you? Yeah, yeah, there aren't many of you, I would think. There's a lot of us. There's there, islands that are only us. That's there, where I are there really? Yeah. Have you ever gone to a nudist colony? I haven't had the joy, but I will probably move there one day. 
I don't think you would because I think it would There's, not be a novelty. Okay, no. Well, here's the thing. I actually did go to a beach where you're allowed to be nude one time, and it was insane, the people that were choosing to be nude. Yeah, right. I saw so much. I actually was like, yeah, it was extremely questioning of maybe I may never. Yeah, it's, ter it's a terrible thing. It was thing. terrifying. I, it, like, gravity it... is, a, is gnarly. <laughs> After a certain point, gravity takes a toll that is just so unforgiving. Not to mention hair. I mean, it's... It's um, insane. Yeah, And I mean... the people that are on the beach spend a lot of time in the sun, which already dehydrates the skin, which is starting a sag. But then, like, on top of everything else, it just, it was really scary. Do you feel like there will be an age at which you decide that I'm not going to be I'm not going to appear in public nude anymore. I mean, those old people did it to me, so I'm going to do it to some You're going to do it back. I'm going to do it back. That's the way to yeah. go. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, click the subscribe button below. I'll wait for you.